Did I hear a squeak? Hello guys, my name is Mac and welcome to how to calibrate at 3.5k MMR. Now I know that there's a lot of players that suffers in low bracket MMR because, well, let's face it, they are just a bunch of baboons. So today I will explain everything about calibration and how you can calibrate at high MMR and get like some juicy MMR out of it. But before we start, remember guys that I do a weekly giveaway for sit like anti-mage or other heroes. And in every week, there's gonna be a winner. So all what you need to do to enter the giveaway is to subscribe, like the video and comment below. With that being said, let's get started. Now let me clear things before we start. This video is explaining how to get 3.5k MMR in the calibration with a new account only. So if you calibrated already or this is like an old account and you already had a MMR before, it won't work for you. So to calibrate at 3.5k, which is the max calibration, we need to do some stuff. First of all, we create a new account obviously because we need a fresh start. Now let me explain how it works. There's something it called hidden MMR, which means everyone will get a hidden MMR once you, once you start playing Dora 2. And that hidden MMR can increase or decrease according to how you play. But how does it work? Well, in the end of every unranked normal game, Valve will gather and calculate some information that actually matters to increase your hidden MMR, which are Number one, win rate. And it's obvious, if you win in a normal pub game, your hidden MMR will increase. If you lose, it will decrease. Number two, KDA, which means kill, death, and assists. So if you have a high KDA, it will increase the chance of you getting better player in every normal game you play, which means your hidden MMR is increasing. Number three, GPM and XPM which are gold per minute and experience per minute. And that means that the gold that you will get in every minute from farming or killing heroes and the experience per minute from killing uh, creeps or heroes. So it matters a lot to get at least 600 GPM and XPM as an average for carry in every game. Number four, net worth which is basically how much gold you have in every game but it doesn't extremely matter much because you are considering getting a high GPM and XPM anyway so don't just go AFK and farm the whole game and expecting that uh, you know you're gonna get a good result that's not gonna work number five heroes damage and tower damage which can be explained to how good you are with pushing towers dealing tam damage to the heroes in the leaning phase or even late game so being AFK farm won't help you that much bro Number six, items and spells. Now, I'm sure you will say, what the fuck? Now, listen, using items and spells will determine how good you are in game. Like Manta style dodge, for example, for using a bustle on the enemy to stun them, or even BKB, all this stuff will actually help and count. Number seven, your graph, which will only consider three things, fighting, farming, and pushing. And that can easily translate to how much fights you participated in, how much you farm or mu how much farm you have, and if you are pushing lanes and towers or just staying like a baboon farming jungle. Now, how can you tell if you are doing well or not in the hidden MMR? Well, you can check your account on Dota buff to see if you have high skills, normal skills, or low skills. High skills is basically that means you are a 3k player. Normal skills, that means you are a 2k player and low skills for all the baboons who's out there so that's how you can track your performance now guys listen only play in solo pub games in the new account don't play in party or whatever just stick with unranked pub games because you want to get a high solo mmr and playing party with low mmr mini players or even like 4k players won't track how good you are in your bracket so that just will you know make you just a bad player so also it's gonna kind of confuse valve from getting you a decent rank for your solo because you're not playing solo you are always playing party so conclusion make a new account spam your best here that you are playing as a carry mid lane or off lane and for the support i will make a guide if we reach like a 5k you know like here in this video make sure that you are efficient with the farm like stacking and farming camps for yourself and pushing lanes with your skills so you can farm the lane faster and also farm the camp that are nearest by make sure that you always have a tp so you can participate in fights where you can you know that you can get kills out of it or at least assist 
don't afk farm and make sure that you are always trying to push lanes and deal damage to the tower or just you know try to farm if the enemy are around you and also while you are farming consider killing heroes as well because that matters for your kda and make sure that you don't die that much even if you are losing the game just don't walk mid feeding or giving unnecessary kills for the enemy because that will ruin your hidden mmr and your kda and only do all these stuffs if you are confident with your skills like if you are a 1k player and you play like shit you will end up getting 1k as well so if you don't have the skills and if you don't try hard in every solo and rank game you will never achieve 3.5k mmr also stick with only two rules like either core or support you don't want to run between to ruin your calibration even though that won't ruin, ruin it honestly but just to play it safe and finally after all the unranked games that you have played as a carry or mid lane or off lane it's time for your 10 matches calibrations and here wins only matter playing carry support or whatever you want to play won't matter getting a high gpm or xpm or whatever the fuck won't matter as well only wins that matters here now if you want me to make another calibration video for the support players let's get 5k likes in this video and also make sure guys to come in my discord for any questions or just to talk with me and remember guys that i'm streaming on twitch so if you want to just be there you can be there and have fun with me watch me playing uh, i will try to make my stream educational and fun as possible for you guys now that's it for today thank you guys for watching if you are new here subscribe and turn that notification button for more videos and don't forget to like the video and tell me in the comment below if you are willing to try to get a high rank in your new profile or just you want to stick with your old one. This is Merrick, see you guys in the next video.